Have you ever had something custom made? In tonight's sponsored Utah Success Stories, Doug Jessup puts a local company's products to the test. In 1863, Richard Smythe was Salt Lake's hatter. He passed the knowledge to his son, Jim, who later would train James Winnington, also known as JW. JW had a huge impact on the industry, training hatters across the country. He then passed the legacy on to the current owner of JW Custom Hats, Raymond Crane. Since it has quite a bit of history, it's, it's been quite the honor to be able to take this on and move it forward. What makes a hat custom? We help you design your own hat so that way you can feel comfortable in it, it looks good on you, it just looks natural and feels natural too. You got a favorite movie hat, say Indiana Jones or Clint Eastwood, they can make that. But sometimes you just want to get your old grandpa's hat fixed, like this one. A lot of people will find that they see a hat like in a movie or see a hat in a TV show and they say, man, I love that hat, where can I get that? And so they can bring it down a picture to us and we'll copy that hat and we'll make it precise to the, either those measurements on the hat or we'll make it proportionate to what their needs are. Let's make you a hat, Doug. Roper, Fedora, Gus, Homburg, Pork Pie. To start that process, you first need to choose which crown style you like. That would be a Roper. Then you have a Fedora triangle. And then that's a Homburg. Doug, with that Homburg, I'd probably suggest that you go with this type of brim, which has a quarter curl on it. That will look really nice. Now you just need to choose your color of felt. I like this one. So next we just need to choose your ribbon. Like this. Let's make a hat. I'll put it back to my head. Yeah. JW would say that you had to have the hat hot enough that it would almost blister your hands. Okay. Iron this out. And a quarter. It's all good. What's Crane's favorite thing about what he does? Working with the customer, looking at their face shape, helping them design it, and then by the end, we come up with a hat that matches them perfectly. I get to see their smiles and they say, yeah, that's it. That's my hat. With another Utah success story and a new hat, I'm Doug Jessup.